I'm Dr. Vikram with the Division of Infectious Diseases uh, at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. I would like to uh, give a brief introduction of an emerging new fungal infection uh, that is being noticed here in the southwestern part of the United States. The fungus Basidiobolus has been known to cause skin and soft tissue infections mainly in the tropical and subtropical parts of the world. The mode of acquisition of this infection is thought to be by local inoculation. However, over the last three to four decades, there have been uh, sporadic reports of this infection causing more widespread infection, especially involving the gastrointestinal tract the intestines themselves and various other organs within the abdominal cavity. This infection was uh, first reported in the United States in the 1980s and the first case of this gastrointestinal basidiabolus infection was detected in Arizona in 1995. My colleagues in infectious diseases, gastroenterology and uh, pathology here at Mayo Clinic were uh, some of the uh, first uh, uh, faculty members who uh, came across this infection in Arizona and that led to renewed interest in trying to find more cases because this had not been described in the United States prior to that. Subsequently, the uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention looked into about six cases of this gastrointestinal basidiabolus fungal infection uh, here in Arizona that had been reported between 1995 and 1999, and these were published. Since then, there have been several additional sporadic cases of this invasive fungal infection that has been reported mainly from the desert climates around the world, especially from Saudi Arabia, from uh, Brazil, from Iran, and other countries. We have since seen a number of additional cases here at Mayo Clinic in Arizona, and therefore what we decided to do was to put all of our cases together that we have seen here in Arizona at our Mayo Clinic, as well as try to get additional cases that other providers may have seen here within the southwestern United States. We also contacted the local state health departments, the CDC, and the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology to try to get additional cases. Overall, we came up with uh, 44 cases of gastrointestinal basidiabolus fungal infection, including all of the cases that we have seen and all of the cases that have been published thus far in the English language literature. And we looked at the literature going back up to March 2010. We identified a total of 44 such cases throughout the world, out of which majority 19 of these cases were found here in the United States, and about 11 cases were from Saudi Arabia. Interestingly, out of the 19 cases from the United States, 17 of them were from patients from Arizona. Out of the remaining two, one patient lived in southern Utah that bordered Arizona. And therefore, the overwhelming majority of cases have been reported here in Arizona, which once again um, is similar in climate to the other parts of the world where this has been reported. Now, in the uh, manuscript that was uh, just published by Clinical Infectious Diseases last week, we have described details of these 44 cases of gastrointestinal basidiabolomycosis that includes their clinical features, how they're presented to the physicians, what treatments were offered, what studies were performed, how their CAT scans and endoscopies looked, and how these patients did after either surgical resection or after receiving prolonged antifungal uh, therapy. The symptoms and signs of this unusual fungal infection are very nonspecific. 
most patients present with either abdominal pain or with a palpable abdominal mass. And physicians can feel the mass uh, in a number of these patients uh, on examination. When either endoscopy or CAT scans of the abdomen are performed, majority of these patients have demonstrated mass-like lesions involving either the gastrointestinal tract, the intestines themselves, or other organs within the abdominal cavity. And they closely resemble cancer, and there is no way to distinguish the two unless the patients have had a biopsy. Other patients can have manifestations that resemble inflammatory bowel disease or diverticulitis. And cancer, inflammatory bowel disease, and diverticulitis were the three major diseases that were considered in patients with this infection before the actual diagnosis of this fungal infection was made. The major challenge with these patients were that the infection was not considered in the evaluation of these patients because the CAT scans and endoscopies that the patients had, the number one mimic was gastrointestinal cancer. Since this infection presents with large masses involving various parts of the gastrointestinal tract, most of the physicians felt that this was due to cancer. And only after patients were taken to surgery or had biopsies of these areas did they find out that this was not cancer and it was an unusual fungal infection. And subsequently, patients received appropriate treatment. Now, the way in which patients get this infection uh, is not known. Basidiobolus is a fungus that has been known to be present in soil, in decaying organic matter, in the intestinal tracts of uh, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. And as a result, we presume that humans who have gastrointestinal infection with this rare fungus get it by ingesting contaminated uh, foods or by ingesting uh, soil that's been contaminated. However, at this point, it still remains a hypothesis. We don't know too much about this infection as yet. However, we hope that the work that Mayo Clinic has done with regards to identifying and diagnosing these patients and our experience with regards to treating these patients and the publication that we just were successful in getting through describing these 44 patients that have been reported so far with this unusual infection will certainly educate our clinicians, uh, particularly in the southwestern United States, with regards to considering this in the differential diagnosis of patients who present with some of the manifestations that we have described. Thank you.